Hey Aries, this is your 2022 love reading. Um, obviously I'm trying a new position here with a new tripod, so you're kind of far away. Uh, we'll see if how this works. <laughs> all right, so Aries, this year is all about healing for you guys. Um, I see some separation uh, from a, a, a love partner. Um, that may be happening now that's in your present situation here. Um, so you, you're going to have a lot of healing work to do this year around this separation, um, forgiving and learning so that you can heal those wounds. Your overarching energy for this reading is Four of Swords, so definitely healing, okay? So that's kind of the name of the game for this year. Um, So, let's start out with you. You're showing up with Ace of Wands, World, and Page of Wands. So, right off the bat, it's like ending a cycle. So, that may be the ending of this relationship. And fostering a new... What, what is the phrasing I want to use here? Fostering like this fresh, energized spirit. This um, partner you're separating from may have, the connection itself may have made you feel like heavy and kind of um, downtrodden for some time. So once the the separation has happened, you'll be moving into this more lighthearted headspace, okay, with these wands here. Things start to become fresh. It's like you open up your eyes and you're like, wow, there is a sun. It's not always cloudy. Um, so you're really going to be asked to do a lot of healing and embracing that lighthearted energy. Flirt. Okay, you got the flirt card. Um, so you've got a spiritual journey here. So obviously this separation is a huge deal. This is a big moment. So you've got a tower moment, okay? Um, And so this is a painful period in your life, but it has to happen. Judgment and Wheel of Fortune and the world, it has to happen so that you can move into, onto your spiritual path and move into um, a more honest headspace. You've got King of Swords here. So move into a more honest headspace um, so that you can have new love coming into your life with the Ace of Cups, okay? So while this is going to be a really painful transition, there's no way around it, um, you're going to heal. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. You're going to do a lot of healing, a lot of setting down burdens that you've been carrying because of this connection that you've had. You're going to be learning how to forgive, forgive them, but also yourself. Um, so there's a lot of healing work that's happening this year for you guys. Um, but I do think it's going to turn out well for you. I do feel like you have some new love um, that will be coming up maybe at the end of this year, maybe next year. Um, but really embracing this passionate, creative, um, lighthearted, flirty energy of the wands here. Um, really enjoy yourself, okay? So once you've gotten out of the healing period, um, really enjoy your time flirting with people, going out on dates, meeting new individuals with different personalities, maybe having some new experiences. 
Um, but definitely being true to yourself, King of Swords, because I feel like maybe in this past relationship that, or this relationship that you're letting go, you weren't really true, being true to yourself and who you were. And it really was not on your spiritual path to be in this relationship. So that may be kind of what it is. You're, you're wanting to be on spiritual path and the other person really just wasn't. So you guys were no longer aligned. And that, that happens, right? We can't always be on the same page with people. We kind of, we have our own journeys and we do things at different times. Um, so as long as you're being true to yourself, okay? So take your time this year, do some healing, and once you're ready, get out there, have fun, um, you know, and get back into some creative pursuits. The wands here are very creative. So you may have put some creative um, activities and hobbies on hold because of this relationship. Um, but now it's time to get back into those things. All right. So Aries, um, take care out there. Uh, you could be the new love coming up at the probably at the end of the year or early next year. Could be a Sagittarius or an Aquarius. So be on the lookout there. All right. Take care, Aries, and have a great day. And I'll see you next time.